We have a question from Todd. My question is, what would you suggest for ba baseball softball players to do at home on their own in order to develop and maintain arm strength? I would assume they have no equipment such as barbells or dumbbells at home. Some may, of course. Uh, for arm strength, you know, I'm a thrower, thrower's throw. Um, I'm not sure that there is a weightlifting exercise for the arms that would be nearly as good as working on your lower body. Um, to throw the ball fast, you need to be uh, a very complex machine that works very smoothly. If there's hills nearby, hill sprints. Uh, you can do, there's a whole bunch of body weight squat variations you could possibly do. Uh, you could drag sleds. I would think legs, 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 legs as much as you can now. Um, you know, I, I do work with Major League Baseball, a couple of teams. Uh, one of the things I would suggest, now this is, I don't want to tell you who does it, but uh, one of the things a lot of Major League teams will do, especially with their pitchers, is they'll do a lot of throwing with their left hand. And I found that to be one of the most, uh, pardon me, if a right-handed pitcher throws with their left hand, a lefty throws with their right hand. And another thing a lot of the pitchers are now doing, um, <laughs> I actually, I actually have the whole set of balls here in my house. I use them for coaching uh, javelin, but you could probably get away with this with just the actual balls of the game. Is you throw the ball this way um, uh, instead of throwing the ball like this at uh, like I'm throwing at you. You take the ball and you whip it behind to do some to do some counter work. Um, if they have no equipment at all. I cannot recommend pull-ups and hill sprints enough. Uh, with javelin throwers, we found that doing pull-ups really was helpful. Pull-ups and monkey bars, very helpful for their, for their boy, I want to say injury prevention, but it, it seemed to also help with performance. Um, humans, uh, we have binocular eyes, we have opposable thumbs, and that's what, you, that's what brachiating animals do. Brachiation is, is monkey bars, okay? And any kind of monkey bar pull-up, um, any of that family, oh boy, rope climbing, I would think, would be a very valuable thing. Again, this is equipment specific, but it's just not that difficult to find places to do pull-ups. Um, and don't forget, go to danjohnuniversity.com, go to the workout generator, and type in, uh, type in body weight only training and see what it comes up with. I think you'll be surprised at the number of things you can still do with just body weight or minimal loads. My friend Anne, uh, during this time, is having all of her clients hold weight, and it doesn't really matter how much weight you hold uh, uh, around your waist, but you know, you're probably looking at 30 to 50 pounds. Uh, um, I'm sure you can find that around the house in something. Uh, here in Utah, we have these things called rocks. Um, and you hold it around your waist, and you do goblet squats, uh, this would be more of the bear hug squat, which is a great exercise. And then you put one leg up behind you on a couch or chair or bench, and you do the Bulgarian split squats with load here. Uh, I hope you got my emphasis, though. Legs, legs, legs. Um, for throwing drills, think more opposite hand, what we call goofy hand when I coach track and field, and try some of that backward ball throwing. Todd, it's a tough question. Uh, equipmentless training really requires the athlete to think. And boy, do I sound like a grunt right now, but a lot of the athletes of the generation I'm working with now uh, haven't had to think for themselves very often in their career. They've had mom and dad helicoptering around them all the time. They've had personal trainers since they were nine. They've been in organized sports since they were eight. Uh, they never actually just go out and have some fun like if you watch the movie Sandlot, that's me. That's how I. That's what I grew up with, and uh, we learned to we learned to think for ourselves a little bit. So what you're going to have to do, in a sense, is encourage the athlete to think for themselves, and that can be scary for the first few times. All right, thank you, Todd. That's it's a good question.